Hello guys, welcome to uh, KCSE prediction and revision questions. Question 1. In an experiment, the weight of students was taken and recorded on the whiteboard. What type of variation was being exhibited in this activity? And the type of variation shown by the weight of students, that is a continuous variation, because we have very many intermedi intermediaries between it. Maybe, for example, 50 kilograms, 50.1, 50.2.3, that is a continuous variation. And like this continuous variation, where we don't have any intermediaries, for example, sex, either male or uh, female, the blood groups, either A, B, O, or uh, blood group AB. Part B, name the type of gene mutation that occurs when nucleotides become detached and lost. That is a deletion. Question 2, the figure below shows a cell undergoing division. Use it to answer the questions that follow. Identify the cell, the stage of cell division, and that is a metaphase. And uh, give a reason for your answer in A above. And the reason is that so you can see these are chromosomes are aligned at the equator of the spindle fibers. They are aligned at the equator of the spindle fibers and uh, the nuclear membrane is absent. Question 3. Why are males compared to females? Why are males sorry compared to females more likely to exhibit? Characteristics of recessive sexed linked genes. And this is because males require only one recessive gene linked to the X chromosome to exhibit sex linked gene characteristics. And uh, the males have only Y X only one X chromosome. That is why they are able to exhibit the uh, the characteristics of recessive sex linked genes because uh, he is either normal or having the sex linked gene because it is the X chromosome is only one. Unlike in females who have two X chromosomes, they can uh, be carriers for the Great. Next question, question 4. What is the major role of rhizoids and it is for absorption of soluble food substances? And also we can accept anchorage. Part B, name the subdivision whose members, not really a subdivision, the division whose members possess rhizoids and that is a bryophyta. And a bryophyta can consist of the most plants. Question 5. In an, in an investigation carried out in a certain terrestrial ecosystem, the population sizes and uh, biomass of four species were determined and recorded as shown in the table. We have species S1, S2, S3, S4. Then population size, biomass. Construct a food chain involving the organisms in the ecosystem. And in this case, we shall base uh, on the construction of a food chain on the biomass because it is a more accurate than the population size and the organism with the highest biomass that is a S4 followed by S1 then S3, S2 and this means that S4 is a producer or a green plant the arrow must point to the eater Part B, sketch a pyramid of biomass to show energy flow in the above ecosystem. As you can see, the, these bars must have the same width, but the length uh, varies with the biomass. And as for having the highest biomass, that is a 10,000 kg, followed by S1, which has 1,000 kilograms then S3 10 kg, then S2 0.1 kg. 
and we are getting both numbers from this uh, biomass here which we are given 1 times 10 power raised to 4 times 10 power raised to 1 then times 10 power raised to negative 1 then raised to 1 uh, 3 6 a write a word equation for the process of anaerobic respiration in plants and anaerobic respiration in plants we have a uh, glucose being broken down to produce you know, that is the absence of oxygen or very little amount of oxygen to produce ethanol carbon dioxide and energy and uh, above the arrow i think you need to indicate presence of an enzyme because we have respiratory enzymes part b what do we understand by the term respiratory quotient and the respiratory quotient is the ratio of the amount or volume of carbon dioxide produced against of volume of oxygen consumed or used in respiration then in case of our formula if you forgot to define you can write the formula which is a rq is equal to volume of carbon dioxide produced over volume of oxygen consumed part c what advantage does glucose have over lipids as a respiratory substrate and that is a one molecule of glucose requires less volume of oxygen to be oxidized oxidized then it is also easy to transport across the cell or it is soluble in water it's easy to transport across the cell question seven the following diagram represents part of a flower study it we have a uh, part m and n so the function of the part label m and that is a, a anthus which produces pollen grains part b roman one what is the function of the following in human reproduction sertoli cells and the sertoli cells they nourish or provide nutrients to the sperm cells amnion the amnion secretes amniotic fluid question eight the diagram below represents half of jaw of a mammal use it to answer the questions that follow what type of diet for the animal uh, from which the jaw was obtained that is vegetation then what evidence is available to show that the jaw was obtained from a mammal and that is a heterodote type of dentition having different types of teeth as you can see the molars, premolars, canines, and incisors. So two functions of carnassial teeth, and it is uh, for sharing or slicing through flesh, then they also crush bones. Remember the carnassial teeth are uh, just a modification of premolars and molars, found mostly in carnivores, or animals with carnivorous mode of feeding. Question 9. Give the branch of biology pioneered by Carolus Linus, and that is the taxonomy. Part 10. Account for the difference in change in dry mass of an embryo and endosperm within the week of germination. And part A. Endosperm. The dry mass decreases as stored food is hydrolyzed and transported to the developing embryo. And the embryo, the dry mass increases as a result of uh, new tissues being synthesized. As the new tissues are being synthesized. Next question, question 11. In an experiment to investigate a certain physiological process, a drop of iodine solution was placed on an agar block as shown below. We have a uh, the iodine solution we have an agar block after 20 minutes it was observed that iodine molecules started spreading slowly to other parts of the agar block name the physiological process that was being investigated that is a diffusion but b give one way in which the movement of iodine molecules within the agar block will be increased and that is by increasing temperature but c 
give one role of the physiological process being investigated in plant nutrition and that is a translocation of food that is from the leaves to other parts of the plant then diffusion of carbon dioxide to the photosynthetic cells then give one similarity between water and uh, wind disperse disperses and both are light question 13 state two differences between primary growth and secondary growth and the primary growth occurs in the apical meristems where the secondary growth takes place in the cambium meristems and the primary growth growth leads to increase in height or length and uh, secondary growth leads to increase in girth or the diameter of the stem question 14 but a why is avocado oil different from corn oil yet glycerol molecule is the same in all lipids and this is because they have different types of fatty acid molecules part b name the carbohydrate that is most abundant in exoskeleton and that is the chitin xylem we have lignin question 15 explain how vasodilation enhances heat loss through the skin and uh, when the body temperature rises above normal the hypothalamus is stimulated which sends an impulse to the skin and the blood vessels dilate causing more bad blood flow near the skin hence more heat is lost question 16 under which, which circumstances or what circumstances will the following events take place in the human body release of glucagon hormone and uh, this happens when the glucose concentration is below normal in blood remember the pancreas secretes uh, two hormones which take part in a blood sugar regulation that is glucagon hormone and insulin hormone when the blood sugar level is uh, below the normal it is a stimulated to secrete glucagon hormone but the opposite is true when the blood sugar level is above normal the pancreas is stimulated to secrete insulin hormone which uh, stimulates liver cells to convert the excess glucose to glycogen but b production of large quantity of dilute urine and that is when the osmotic pressure of blood falls below normal falls below normal question 17 a student observing a wing of a cockroach using a hand lens made a drawing of length four centimeter of the wing and I noted down a magnification of times two calculate the actual length of the wing three marks drawing length we have four centimeter magnification times two actual length we need to look for the actual length and the magnification is equal to drawing length over the actual length and the actual length is equal to drawing length over magnification that is a four over times two and that is two centimeter which is the actual length name the nerves that control rate of heartbeat and we have vagus nerve and the vagus nerve slows down the rate of heartbeat while the sympathetic nerve increases the rate of heartbeat question 19 lemon juice was added to a mixture of saliva and uh, wheat flour explain the observation made if added solution was added to the mixture after some time remember saliva contains saliva in less which digests starch into maltose uh, the wheat flour contains starch and lemon juice it is acidic in nature and uh, the observation blue black color was observed that means that starch was present lemon juice created an acidic medium and suitable or which denatured enzyme taline or saliva in less starch therefore was not broken down to maltose question 20 explain how the shape and packing of the spongy mesophyll cells facilitates gaseous exchange irregular in shape and they are loosely packed this creates large intercellular air spaces for faster circulation of air the next question 21 state the reasons for the following precautions when using 
a photometer, cutting the shoot underwater, and that is to prevent entry of air bubble into the xylem tissue. But B, opening the reservoir tap, that is a, to remove air bubble or control movement of air bubbles. 22. Name the type of nitrogenous waste products eliminated by the following organisms. Ducks and crocodiles, and that is a uric acid. Tadpoles and small fish, that is ammonia. On the uric acid, uh, requires less water to be excreted. On the ammonia, requires a lot of water to be excreted. And since, simply because the small fish and the tadpoles, the environment is aquatic, they, they have a lot of water, they'll excrete uh, ammonia. 